Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bombs, and we're gonna be going over all the different skins and costumes that are in Spider Man Miles Morales. This is the starter uh, costume right here. You get it just right when you start the game. He's just wearing this nice little jacket and suit. You know, it's, it's chilly, all right? You gotta stay warm, sportswear. Then, after that, you get the Great Responsibility Suit. That's this one right here. The Great Responsibility Suit, you get it right after the first mission. Um, Peter Parker gives it to you as a gift. Then, we have right here, the Homemade Suit. It has a little nice aesthetic to it. It's all red and white, um, but you could tell it's not quite that Spider-Man vibe. Then we got one of my early favorites, the tracksuit. Man, this black and white aesthetic is clean as can be. That's all I got to say on that one. I mean, look at this. Look at the drip. The drip to it is sauce. Look at that. After the tracksuit, you have the animated suit. Just like it, it's, you could tell it's an animated suit it just has that cartoony feel to it it's that classic black and red miles morales spider-man suit after that we have the brooklyn visions academy suit it's just his normal black suit just with the jacket from his uh, high school on and a backpack he has a backpack too then you got the crimson cowl and, like, this one also got some drip to it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at that. He's wearing that nice little hood. Looking like a boogie with the hoodie right now. Rocking it. The red and black aesthetic. Miles Morales got some clean suits. That's all I got to say. He got them fits, man. He knows drip. Drip or drown, right? After that, you got this strike suit right here. And I'm falling. right here the strike suit it's nice it's nice right it's nice nothing too special nothing too special but it's not bad at all then after the strike suit you have right here the end suit and i was rocking this for a while i i truly was i truly was <clears throat> rocking this fit right here come on look at this fit look at the spider on the back that just looks sick it looks clean after that, you got the Miles Morales 2099 suit. And this was my endgame suit. You got that hoodie again. But, I mean, like, the eyes, just the aesthetic on the eyes where it just constantly glows. That just looks awesome. It looks awesome. After the, that suit, you got the Into the Spider-Verse suit. The one that he wore in the movie, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And he has the painted spider-man logo to match his art you got that on the front and the back it's just a standard black suit it looks a little like cartoony again kind of like the animated suit and then you just got his his og the classic miles morales suit right here black and red just beautiful just sleek in design it doesn't stand out it just looks clean after the classic Miles Morales suit, this is my favorite suit. After I unlocked this, this was the suit I was rocking. This black and gold trim on this suit, on the Uptown suit. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I absolutely love this suit. This is by far my favorite. To get this suit, you have to finish all the Spider-Man app missions. Uh, a lot of these suits you just unlock by, you just have to play the game and then you can unlock them using like points. But some, like the ones we're probably going to see next, are all require some special missions to them. But this one is so clean as hell. Then you get this winter suit. You know, you're wearing a classic Miles Morales suit with the uh, scarf and earmuffs and a beanie. Oh, those leg warmers are... Yeah, those leg warmers too. I didn't realize. I did not realize he'd be wearing leg warmers in this until now. I was rocking this suit for a while too. You get this after helping out a certain someone, not gonna say anything in terms of story. 
Miles Morales 2020 suit. Man, you look like Daft Punk wearing this. <laughs> look at this. You're genuinely... This is a Daft Punk suit right here. But it is clean. It looks like it looks like Cyberpunk 2077 aesthetic with cyber, uh, with all the neon lights on it and things like that. But uh, Daft Punk be rocking well. They're represented in Spider-Man Miles Morales. And then there's a spider in the back, and the spider in the front's digital. Then you have the programmable matter suit. This one, I don't know how to feel about this one. Like it's cool, but it's not. Like I don't like all the sharp edges and stuff like that. But that's how it has to be. Um, this is how the suit looks. It just glows bright. Like very, very bright red. You get this one by finding all, or defeating all the secret bases for the bad guys in the game. And finding all the crates. Then there's a purple rain suit designed after the color scheme of the Prowler. This one's also pretty clean. You get this one by finishing all the Prowler side missions. It gives you this suit right here, the purple and green aesthetic suit called Purple Rain. Then we have the Bodega Cat suit. This one's whack. This one's whack as hell. I don't like this suit at all. <laughs> He put on the sweater, puts a backpack on, but you do got the little kitty cat in the backpack just jumping out every once in a while. And then lastly, you have the spider training suit. You get this one by starting a new game plus. And there are also some mods. I can briefly go over those, but it's just really uh, boosting like your gameplay. Like it depends on how you play. Also, there's suit mods, which also change how you play. You can you can have a, what's called Vibe the Verse. It is a, it makes you play like you're in the Spider Verse, and it causes it like it has a different aesthetic for the costume. Same with the eyesight. There's one that allows you to see. Yeah, it allows you to visualize combat sound effects as they appear on a different Earth. Is the description so it just shows up like sound effects when you're fighting. But, for the most part, that is it. Those are all the, all the, let me go back to my suit. Those are all the suits in Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales. They are clean. This is by far my favorite, this black and gold suit. Uh, it is quite a lot to get this suit. You have to do a few missions, but it's definitely worth it. Because it's just, it's, you, if you have you watched Black Panther, you know Eric Killmonger. That guy, his suit as a Black Panther, that black and gold, it, it's just a beautiful scheme, and I absolutely love uh, mixing those colors together. And this suit did that, and it just makes me happy. Ooh, should we go to the, we're gonna go to Oscorp Tower and just gonna jump off because that's what you do in Spider Man game. You find the highest peak, actually the highest peak in your town. We'll do two jumps. If you guys haven't played this game, I highly recommend it. I just recently beat it. It is great. I absolutely love this game. Look at the Empire State Building. And like you can see the New York skyline, it's so beautiful. That's Avengers Tower over there. That has to be. It's just too high. And then we're gonna jump. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Oh my god, I missed. I missed the street. And I uh, playing this game with the PlayStation 5 controller, like the button, the triggers have resistance to make it feel like you're shooting away and it just feels great
Nobody's 